You ever have to confront somebody? Too often. Occasionally. What about, have you ever had to confront somebody that charged you too much? <gasps> Messed up your bill? No. Like, when you go to the restaurant and the waiter hands you the bill, do you look at the itemized receipt and go like, oh, you charged me for one too many uh, blooming onions here? <laughs> I should start doing that. I feel like I should. I just. I never look at the bill. Never. Never. That's Julia right. looks at the bill. I look at the bill. Julia looks line by line at the bill. I make it a point to say, I, I don't need a receipt. But my wife, every receipt. We need the receipt. To, yes. Oh, this is the difference. Yesterday, I went, uh, you know, we're celebrating 15 glorious. Whoa. Spotless blam, lamb. 15 years of. <laughs> marriage what i call marriage bliss mm. what i call marriage success praise god what i call um heavenly matrimony <laughs> 15 years celebrating what and this joke never gets old when i say she's blessed <laughs> I, it never gets old i like always want to say congratulations and then you say that and i'm like yeah, yeah, yeah but people <laughs> laugh know. every time it's it's very i laugh getting louder. every time <laughs> Hey, she and I always go, she is blessed. <laughs> <laughs> no one believes it. <laughs> so I'm out, you know, I'm buying a gift, you know, I got to get her a gift. So they charged me for an item that I didn't get. Mm-hmm. Now, these are people that I love. Mm. The, the, the place. Yeah. I'm in a conundrum. Do I confront? So I'm at the house and I realize, wait, I'm because here's the difference. If they would have handed me the receipt, I never looked at it. They emailed it to me. Mm. And in the email, you there's, can look at the email. Well, there's visuals of the items that I purchased visuals. So the extra visual stands out. Yep. Uh, there's one too many <laughs> item here. Mm-hmm. And now I look across and I see I've been charged for it. But I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. In this instant, I'm kind of, because I know the people, I'm kind of like, ah, maybe I'll just support. Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm hooking them up. Maybe I'll just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't get this item, but I'm kind of taking care of you. <laughs> ah, you guys keep it. I'm not a big, guys, I don't like to confront. Yeah, do you do you get pickles on your thing and you're like, oh, we got to return it? Or do you mm-hmm. take the pickles off? It's it's a rare deal. <laughs> yeah. it's, I, I'm just like, yeah, just take them off. Yeah. I don't like to confront. I don't like, you know, it's got to be a special thing. It's got to be, you know, the right thing. You got to you gotta calculate, you know, you got to, what are you, what, what, what sort are you going to die on? Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, if they put, if they put sugar in my coffee. Mm. Now coffee is a whole different I'm issue. I'm taking it back. I am so quick on the draw with a coffee return. Yeah. Hey guys, this is not cold. I mean, this is not hot. Yeah, this is not it. The other day I tried, um, I asked the guy, I said, um, hey. I'm looking here at your menu and tell me about this drink, this coffee drink. And the guy goes, I highly recommend. <laughs> Say no more. So I ordered it. I took one sip. I go, you know what, buddy? Me and you were different. This is what I want now. Took it back that fast. I will confront over coffee. My point is when, you know, you got a, a friend they're trying to grow a business they got bills to pay. Right. I'm happy to be charged for stuff I'm not bringing home. Now, if Julia finds out, that guy's in big trouble. Because we're going to go back to the store. We're going to we're yeah. gonna reconcile. We're going to get our money back. But, you know, I'm a leader. She'll, which, never, she'll never know. Yeah, because she never listens to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> she, could you imagine her first leadership leading episode? She finds <laughs> out that we're getting scammed by our friends. Oh, man. You know what, guys? I'm out here trying to survive. I'm just a leader. First time I've ever done it. Wow. First push, time I've ever hit it. Push wow. the button. I pushed the leadership lean in button. That's incredible. It's just, it's. I've never been in this proximity to it. Yeah, congratulations. I'm so close to this, but you better be careful. I'm ready to. <laughs> I'm ready to just. Nick Saban, college Simon Sinek. How about when we hit the Simon Sinek one and um, Henry Cloud's like, <laughs> I don't agree. I oh, don't agree. Yeah, Out of all the sound yeah. bites that we've chosen, Henry Cloud goes, "What a what a bunch of <laughs> baloney, baloney that is." Get out of here. 
Oh, welcome to another episode of a podcast called Only Murderers in the Building. Kidding. <laughs> Kidding. Great After TV Buzz. show. Martin Short. I love that guy. Uh, leadership Leaning. We are a podcast. We are leaning. Lean back. Do the rock away. Lean back. Do you know who that is, April? No. But you know the song, the reference. No. Yeah, that's tough. That's very, very, <laughs> I know it because of you. I'm going to ask for a, uh, a refund on that one. <laughs> um, we're a podcast that's all about the subject of leadership. We're, we're just doing our best, guys. We're just doing our best. Just trying to get a little bit better. Uh, today, we are about to jump in. But again, thank you to everybody. I just want to say thank you to all of our sponsors, <laughs> all of our nation <laughs> I love saying it. All the people that share and like and subscribe. By the way, on the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna we're we're growing like we're growing like a like like a wildfire. Yeah, like weeds. <laughs> we're, we're, like, yeah, we're growing like weeds. Actually, we're growing like uh, uh, I was gonna say my my son's <laughs> muscles. <laughs> Slowly <laughs> but surely. Okay, uh, today we're talking about. Choosing your friends. Mm. I like this one. And, 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 and the reason why this is so important, uh, leaders, this is so important, uh, that you actually have friends. Mm. A lot of people misconstrue employees for friendship. Wow. And these are two totally separate categories in your life. I think there's people that you are in the trenches with, you're building your organization with, you're building your uh, team with, and, 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 and there is relationship but it's not always true friendship. Right. I think true friendship, a test could be, if I take away the title, are we still friends? That's good. That is a sign of friendship where, where there's no titles involved. There's no um, compensation or uh, I benefit from you, you benefit from me. It's strictly out of relationship. That is a true friendship. And friendship is this, is uh, to me, is such a big gift. And the reason why I want to talk about this as a leadership standpoint, you might be like, well, we're talking about leadership. Why is this important? Well, first of all, number one, let's not become boring people. Mm. I think to be a great leader, there needs to be something that's a little bit attractive to you. There's, there's a little bit of like, you're an interesting person. Mm -hmm. you, you've you got hobbies. You've got interests. You are um, not just so focused on this one thing and this one outcome and this one product that there's a, you're multifaceted and multidimension. And I think people are actually drawn to leaders that have friends. Right. right. It's like, wow, I can, I, I admire that you didn't just build X, Y, and Z, but you're also someone that is around people and people are gravitating to you and people like you. And I always think that leadership is the impression of a big world. Mm. That's really good. I'm never drawn to people that live in a small world because yeah. I always think small world, the connotation of that is small soul. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're small. You, you, you don't know how to extend yourself you don't know how to be vulnerable or transparent you don't know how to put yourself out there to you know even be rejected right so in other words you'd rather have a clean life which means there's no mess there's no problems but to be involved with people means i have tons of problems right and i think the bigger your world is the more there's just a lot floating around you a lot of issues and and i think that's awesome i think that's good and i want to encourage every leader to not focus on friendship, but pay attention to it. That's mm. good. You know, a lot of times leaders are so focused on building. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, I live like a machine. I'm disciplined. I'm focused. I'm building. I'm the Excel spreadsheet. I'm, you know, money management, time management, blah, 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 blah. Okay, great. So you accomplished all that. But, um, I, I heard a quote years ago. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with a group. And you got to choose your group. You got to choose who's around you. And this is very uh, imp important, even in scripture teaches us, choose your friends wisely. That's right. Mm -hmm. Be wise. It's kind of like my influences. I don't, I don't let my influences choose me. I choose them. Yeah. Yep. I choose who's going to be a voice in my life. I choose who's going to influence me. I'm too, we got to be honest, guys. We are so impressionable. And because we're so impressionable, I need to have the right impressions in my life. Uh -huh. I need to have the right people talking to me, mentoring me, leading me. I'm listening to the right podcasts. I was with a, a leader recently, and he's like, um, every week I listen to a, 
a spiritual podcast, a leadership podcast, a finance podcast, and I forget the fourth one, uh, maybe a sports one. And I was like, great. I was like, tell me uh, who the faith one is, the spirit. So he's talking about the faith. Great. Athletic ones, I can guess. He's this, 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 this. Yep, yep. Uh, leadership. And we start talking about leadership. Have you listened to this guy? I go, have you listened to this guy? Have you listened to this guy? So I started telling him all the great leadership podcasts. And he's like so excited because I think it's about choosing great influences. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Saying like, man, I'm going to get the right people in my ear to... Help me become more well-rounded, more mm. informed, more well-versed about the different subjects and categories in my life. I think friendship is the same. It's like a podcast menu. I choose yeah. who I'm going to listen to. Yeah. I choose who's going to speak into my life. Not just anybody can tell me what they think about me, about life, about God, about leadership. I'm going like, nope, this guy's going to speak into me. This girl, this lady I respect, this friend friendship is that thing i choose my friends if you don't do this what happens is people attach themselves we're like how do i get stuck with this person mm-hmm. yeah totally ah, why 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 no 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 i choose my friends wisely choose your influences wisely make the best decision your alignment determines your assignment Mm -hmm. you're going to go where your friends are you're a sum total of all your relationships i know it's cliche but let's say it again show me your friends i'll show you your future yeah i love i mean it so rings true because i mean when you say that it's like who you grew up around your family like someone i knew in high school was in a study hall with my sister one time and she's never met my sister. Me and my sister don't look alike. She overheard my sister telling a story. She leans over to her and says, are you April's sister? Because we were so similar. And yeah. the way we talk, you are just like the people around you. When you yes. grow up, you're just like your family. Yeah. And it's such a cool opportunity to be able to kind of like build your life based off of the people around you. And like you said, if you're maybe not such an interesting person or you look at your life and you go, oh, there are a lot of things that I think I need to add. You have the opportunity through relationship. That's right. That's yeah. right. It is It is a weird dynamic, though, because you want friends regardless of the leveraging of their influence. Correct. And at the same time, you don't want friends who don't have influence on your life. Correct. And so it's like, you know, what is that tension or boundary to go like, I'm going to surround myself with people who I want to be. Yep. And at the same time, if I didn't get anything from them, I would still want to be around these people. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course. It, it, you know, I, I saw a TikTok that was like, we don't get to choose our first best friends. Hmm. Mm. They're a product of our environment. Yes. We're forced to be their friends. School. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Know, all that stuff. It's the second. I step. saw this video as well. Yeah. I, I yeah. can't remember the, the phrasing, but it was so profound to me. I'm like, yeah, yeah. The, you know, what's the phrase? It's so cheesy. Uh, friends are the family you get to choose. That's exactly right. And I think that's that's such a good idea and it's so true. It's so true and I think it's an important thing for us to stop as leaders and just kind of recognize who, here's a great question, who are my friends? Yeah. Like who, at the end of the day, you got to be honest and go like, who are my friends? If I removed my title and I lost my position, I think I think it's important for us to always recognize what's real in our life. So good. It's it, sorry. I'm not saying everything else is fake, but maybe not everything is what it appears to be. As genuine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe there's just some things under the cur- undercurrent that you know, just like ah, if you take it all away, who's really w- rocking with you? Who's really your friend? And you got to choose them wisely. You can't just let. I'm. 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 I'm just. The older I get, the more I understand. Some people want to be my friend with a major agenda. Hmm. That doesn't mean I have to be their friend. Yeah, yeah it's like, such a good thought. And, and I think it's okay to be able to go, this is an acquaintance or this is someone I know versus this is like a friend. Mm-hmm. A friend that like, this is so great. I was talking to somebody the other day and they were saying socially they were with some people, they were out and they needed to get home to their kids. And the reason why they need to get home to their kids is because they're like, these people aren't going to be there at my funeral when I die. 
Now, it's great to be out. It's great to have fun. It's great to, wow. you know, I think you need to be social. I think you need to interact. I think you need to network. You're a leader. You, oh, it's all flows out of relationship. But I'm talking about a different level, mm -hmm. which is friendship. Yep. Right. And that is an important value. And I think as a younger leader, I bypass this. If I could look at my own failures to go like, I don't need friends. I'm building. I'm going. I'm, I'm making it happen. Or if I did have friendship, it was a little tick for tack probably. There, there there's, there's an exchange. The older I get, the more I'm like, well, actually, I actually need uh, friends. Why do you need friends? Because these are people you can be really vulnerable and mm. honest and transparent. They can see the real you. They can, they can even like your family sometimes see the good, the bad, and the ugly, and they still honor you. They still celebrate you. Um, th there's, there's just a value that I think we've misplaced. I think we put all the value, most of us as leaders, on growth, strength, mm. organization, momentum. Your life really is a sum total of your relationships. That's right. Yeah. You want to really know how good somebody is? Look at their relationships. Mm -hmm. And if you got a bunch of broken relationships around you mm. and you got a bunch of uh, fallout and baggage, maybe you need to work for a season on a commitment to friendship. And I'm only speaking, at, relationships take work. Just like marriage takes work, relationships take yeah. work. Yep. Yep. You know, c c by the way, it, <laughs> if you can't be committed to your marriage, you're not going to be committed to your friendships. <laughs> right. Yeah. Your marriage yeah, is like yep. a, it's like, it's like a mirror of how good of a friend you are. A magnification. Mm -hmm. there, there it is, right? Because I'm not a good friend of Julia. I'm going to be a good friend to other people because I know how to, like, have real friendships, mm -hmm. right? Not surface level, not like, hey, what's <laughs> up? You know, I met you at this conference. I yeah. saw you at this what place. What surface is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the surface. <laughs> you know, that's fine. That's fine. That's all part of life. I'm not saying, yeah. I'm just saying you got to have some friends a few things to consider today uh number one hang around the wrong people and you're going to learn the wrong habits hang around the right people and you're going to get better yep if mm -hmm. you want to become wise hang out with the wise if you want to learn how to be angry hang around the angry man <laughs> right. i i am through osmosis i am becoming who i'm hanging out with and i just think man i'm gonna hang around the right people because it's gonna set me in the right direction and I think being around the right people is worth a, a flight. It's worth a conference ticket. It's worth a, an annual get together. It's mm. worth the FaceTime. It's worth the extra hour on the phone. It's just about getting, because if I hang around the right people, I'm going to become the right person. If I hang around the wrong people, let me just use a Bible verse for a moment. For everybody li li listening to Leadership Lean In, this podcast, very, very big on scripture. And one of my favorite truths in the Bible, do not be misled, homie. <laughs> homie. Bad company corrupts good character. Yeah. Yep. So I have seen great people face terrible corruption and become really bad people mm. all off influence so tough. all off friendships all off hanging around the wrong people you hang around uh i think we put up a clip today about hanging around knuckleheads yeah i saw that <laughs> clip with the knuckleheads i was like oh that's right we said that and and, 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 it's, and it's true it's true it's true come on we gotta be honest you ever notice you hang out with those people and like all of a sudden you're just a really like crunchy kind of embarrassing version of yourself oh yeah, yeah totally i have to be careful man because certain people can make me into like a knucklehead yeah same yeah i remember i had a friend who was kind of new to her faith and she was asking me about some things in her life and how to because she was trying to leave behind an old life and she was trying to grow and you know the things that you do. And I remember one of the things I told her was, okay, well, first off, like, let's look at your circle of people, the people around you, your friends, like you're trying to stop partying, drinking, all this stuff. And all of your friends are doing all these things that you don't want to do. That's right. And it was so hard for wow. her to kind of put two and two together and to give up, to realize these people are going to lead me and I can't do this if it, it just ended up being a whole thing. Like, okay, you have to look at your life and choose what you really want. That's exactly right. Yeah, I, can, I think talking about having a diversity of friends too, if all your friends look like you, sound like you, talk like you, you know, I, I remember you saying this, this phrase before, the mentor myth. 
Oh my God. Like, you know, growing up in leadership, it's like you get one mentor. Mm. Yeah. And they get to tell you how to live your life. Sensei, Jedi Knight. Yeah, <laughs> what a weird concept. What is the saying? You're my guru? Yeah, it's like, yeah. I'm not going to the dentist for my for mechanic work. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like. <laughs> and no one friend can handle the pressure exactly. of, uh, right. of being the one stop. You're my one friend. Yeah. Yeah. And if, even, yeah. And even with like good friends, I think there are places where you say like, we're super good friends, but I'm not going to go here with you. I'm not going to go here mm-hmm. with you. I even had a conversation with a friend the other day where we were kind of having a conversation and realized that we both have this one propensity and we thought, huh, we're just not going to go here with each other yeah. because we're going to influence each other to go deeper. <laughs> yeah, that, that's smart. And I, I think you, we just got to be honest. If, if I hang around the right people, I'm going to be on the right trajectory. Yeah. And I just, I can't escape the reality of impression. I can't escape the reality mm-hmm. of influence. I'm influenced by others. Yeah. I'm so influenced. I'm so swayed by others. Their comments, their thoughts, their beliefs. I can be impressed like the rest of us. And so if I want to be the person that I really feel in my heart I could become, I got to get around the right people. I got to go to, if, for, for me to go to another level, I got to hang around people that are on another level that inspire me. They're like, yeah. you're there in life. You're there in what you're built. You're. Th- I want to hang around people, not like, it's the whole saying like, if you're the smartest person in every room or if you're the smartest person in the room, find a new room. Yeah, yep. You know, you got to find a new room and you got to so good. You got to get around the right folks because if I hang around the wrong people, it's just a scary thought that I with all my wisdom think about and I'm really thinking about even Solomon here. As wise as you are, leader, you could have somebody turn your heart in the wrong direction. Yeah. So it's not about what you know. It's about who you're with. Mm-hmm. And this is a an exciting reality that I can learn from people. I can get so, around. Yeah. I can choose the right friendships. I can. It's a really interesting stat right now. Um, the average 16 year old has one friend. Hmm. What? In this technology age, the average 16 year old has one friend. Wow. And so you think loneliness is a is a leadership problem. Low is lonely at the top. It's only as lonely as you want it to be. Wow. Mm. It's only as lonely as you make it. Yep. And it's so, really I if you're a leader and you're suffering for friendship right now, you just write down number two today. If you're taking notes, you need to you need people that will tell you the truth. The problem is you probably don't have pe- real people in your life. You don't have you know people that like are like honest with you. The king has no clothes is the old saying. Friends are great because they have no uh, nothing to lose. They tell you the truth. Yeah. And the truth it's hurts. really good. Yeah. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Mm-hmm. So what, they're going to let you know, hey, just a heads up, your breath stank. It's <laughs> a so heads up. You got something in your teeth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, hey, whoa, whoa. what's that mean? Your zipper's down. Come yeah. on, bud. You know, so it's like a friend shoots it to you straight. Yeah. And the friend has a little bit of that sting like, ah. Yeah. Dang. Because mm-hmm. the people on your team are not going to do that. No. They will not. They need a paycheck. Right. They, they need job security. They want a promotion. Yeah, what, yeah they want they a promotion. They need proximity. They yep. are, uh, at the end of the day, is self-preservation involved. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. But a friend. Oh, but <laughs> a friend. A friend's like, I think you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't see it like that. I don't think that's... Mm. You're acting like an idiot. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> Faith for the wounds of a friend. Don't say of a teammate. Yeah. Of an employee, of a friend. And I think that most people have not been wounded by a friend because they're not willing to let anybody get that close to them. Mm. Huh. Nobody's getting that close to me because I have I'm a leader and I'm I've got to present myself as knowing it all and being it all and I'm sorry, did you forget that people admire your strengths, but they relate with your weaknesses? Yeah. And friendship is this gift where it's like, man, I can be like, this is not going as good as I want it to go. (laughs) And things are not as good as I want them to be. And I've got this. So who can you let your guard down around? You need to have friends that can really handle the truth and tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. So truth is a two-way street. That's the problem with the person that has the guru or the mentor. It's only the mentor 
yep. that tells them the truth. But friendships, like it's just, it's flowing. It's honesty, transparency, and it builds trust. It builds communication. It doesn't take away trust. It builds trust. And so I, I, I want to encourage every leader out there, choose your friends wisely. In fact, let me just say this. Instead of even starting with selecting some all-star Avengers, it's so funny. I saw this video, you know, USA basketball loss, you know. Yeah. In, in, in Germany, you know, Dennis Schroeder goes on to you in the MVP and Germany wins it all for FIBA. Who cares? Call me when it's the Olympics. <laughs> Call me when where there's medals involved that have to do with bronze, silver, or how about what we always get? Gold. Okay. So, but I saw this video with Gilbert Arenas and he's like, he's in his car. He's like, y'all done messed up. Y'all got LeBron involved. <laughs> LeBron's coming out. He's going to come play, you know, and he's bringing all of his guys. And then they start showing, you know, Dame Lillard and Jimmy Butler and, you know, uh, Steph Curry and Paul George and Anthony Davis and blah, 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 blah. And it's like when, when, when I talk about choosing uh, friends, I think sometimes because leaders are so goal oriented and success oriented that they think it's got to be some Avengers gold medal team. Yeah. Mm. My Even my friends are a trophy. Right. Wow. Mm, nah. Wow. What a concept. No, yeah. that's not how friendship works. No. Sometimes there's just this kindredness. There's this chemistry. There's this right person, right place, right time for you. There's this beautiful, wow, I didn't see that friendship coming. Wow, I would have never guessed. Friendship comes in all shapes and sizes, doesn't yep. it? And by the way, it comes in all different seasons. And I think that God is so good. God will send you everything you need for every season. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that you need in every season, in every season, you need a friend. That's right. You need a friend to like watch the game with. You need a friend to like eat pizza with. You need a friend to like kick it with. You need a friend to, you know, go to your kid's soccer game. Fill in the blank for whatever season you're in. But when you choose your friends, I think you should start rather than looking for the Jimmy Butler, Anthony Davis, and Dame Lillard illustration why don't you start with what kind of friend are you going to be? Wow. That's great. I'll never forget when I was, uh, you know, in first in college and, you know, really getting serious about my future. I made a list of all the things my wife was going to be. <laughs> She's going to be X, Y, Z, blah, 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 blah. And my sister, I showed her my list, my list. And she said, um, hey, buddy. Instead of making a list of everything she's going to be, why don't you make a list of everything you should become? Bars. That's great. And I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, honestly, I took, I, 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 yeah, I took her up on it. And I was yeah. like, you're right. I need, it starts with me. That's so Friendship That's really always good. starts with me. I've got to be a friend to get a friend. Mm -hmm. uh, he who desires m friends must himself first be friendly. So I'd love to have people over at the house. Here's the only problem. I've got to send the text. Yeah. That's I've right. got to like make myself vulnerable. I'd love to have friendship. I've got to go first. Um, this is how we're doing. Yep. It always, the demand of life and leadership always starts with me. It flows from the person. It flows from who I am. And that's how friendship works. So if you're going to choose your friends wisely, um, let's, Look at them, but let's also start. What kind of friend are you? A fr are you a brother born for adversity? Yeah. Are you a friend that's willing to be in the trenches of of when it, the highs and lows? I, I saw I saw this reality of faith um, video re recently that your faith is supposed to take you through the valley and and the mountaintop. So mm -hmm. whether you go through the valley of despair or or the mountaintop of success, your faith should be able to work and be there for you at both spots. Same with a friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So am I a friend that? that can really show up at the hospital for you and be there for the worst time. And when you're going through hell on earth and you're hating life and when you win an award or when you get that promotion, can, am I a friend? It always starts with me because mm. I can never reap what I have not sown. Oh, you cannot reap. Come on leader. You cannot reap what you have not sown. So it's crazy to me. Most leaders are like, I want loyalty. You're the furthest thing from loyal I've ever seen. Mm. Yeah. You don't know how to spell loyalty. Yikes. <laughs> I want honor. 
be the most disrespectful, di- unhonoring person I've ever encountered. Mm-hmm. I want I just I want I want my team to like just be unified. You're divisive, and you're a gossip, and you want unity. Do we live on the same planet? Right. Mm-hmm. So I was like, where's my friends? <laughs> you're not a friend. You're not. And I think we have to be honest of going like, um, what most people, what they crave in their soul is not a corner office, a mm-hmm. Lambo, a big following. We all crave the same thing and it's connection and community. That's right. And so... My fear, leader, is that you'd you you'd grow it to X Y Z and just crush it, and then you go home and you're by yourself. Yeah, that that all that for that. Yeah, you worked all that for that. I heard this story recently of a of a hero that passed away. A hero of mine passed away recently, and um they they couldn't let his son speak at the funeral because they would have bashed him. Wow. They had to do a pre recorded video and edit the son his sons. Help me, Jesus. His sons. Was going to bash the dad. Bash. And nobody knew the way that the sons really felt about dad. Hmm. And I'm just telling you, it, it's not worth it. Yeah. To build all these things and all this stuff. And for that, mm-hmm. how about having a great soul? Yeah. How about yeah. having a great home and a great family and having friendship? Isn't, isn't life bigger than just your team? Yeah. And just what you're building. Right. I hope that we can accomplish both. To me, life is never about one one or the other. It's always and both. That's right. It's always having the capacity to, you know, put my kids to bed and love my kids and love my wife and love my family. And that's what I think about life is that there's rhythm and there's rest and there's Sabbath and there's family time. And maybe we need to go back to the way that the calendars did work and the way that the daily rhythm did work. And maybe when the sun goes down, we should be with our family. And yeah. maybe we do yeah. need 24 hours, no, no technology, because we just have to have the margin and the ability. You, 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 it's a margin issue, isn't it? Yeah. It's mm-hmm. n- you're just going so fast and doing so many things. You don't even have time for friendship. Yeah. Right. It's like, no, 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 I got, I do have time. I'm going to make time. Why? Because it's a priority to me. That's right. And what is the priority? The value is relationship. And I'm going to be there. I'm going to be a friend. I'm, I'm going to be a friend. So if I text you, how you feeling? How you doing? Checking in. Let's get together. Let's get a meal. Let's get a dinner. Let's pl- plan a trip. Let's. It's because I'm saying I need not just to work more and produce more and to accomplish more and to make more and to have, you know, this. No, no. I'm going to do all that, but I'm, I'm, I'm not just going to go alone. I'm going to go with a group. So good. I'm going to make, I'm going to make it my commitment to choose friends that are encouraging. And, and let me just say this, by the way, if you got bad friends around you and you got people, listen, don't, don't you dare go where you're tolerated. Yeah. You go where you're celebrated. That's right. Don't yeah. you hang around people that, oh, this has always been my friend and, but they treat you like trash. Wow. You got more self-respect. Yeah. You got some more self-esteem than that. You are a leader. You have a massive future ahead of you. You're doing something with your life. Your influence matters. And just because something, no, no. We're going to choose our friends wisely. We are leaders of not the next generation. We're leaders of this generation. Mm. And every day and every decision matters. I can't encourage you enough. Find you some friends and go change the world. I don't care if they look like the way you thought they were going to look like or they act the way that you thought they were going to act. These are your friends. Cherish them. Value them. Treat them like a million bucks. Buy them a gift card. It's like what I tell my boys. Who are we the nicest to? Our family. Mm. Who am I the nicest so to? My friends. Yep. That's my friend. Try and talk trash about my friend. Nope. That's my friend. That's right. Mm-hmm. I'm. I came in the fight with you. I'm. Le- and I'm a friend. I'm your friend until you prove to me that I shouldn't be your friend. Mm. And the moment I find out I should not be your friend, I am. We we gonna change proximity. Mm. Mm-hmm. But the ones that I am in friendship with, it's like I, I let me let me let me just close with this. 
I have these buddies that are big inspirations to me. And and they're old. I, I think you need old friends, by the way. I like I like leaders that 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 love to be around older people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So these guys are older guys, and they've been uh, let's say they're three decades in friendship, maybe four. And one of them said the reason why our friendship has been so good is because they say their value and their saying is divorce is not an option. It's really good. Mm. So think about that. You think that that's what a married couple says. But these friends wow. are saying to each other, divorce is not an option. That's wow. crazy. That's so cool. so when we fight, because we do, think about that, friend. I, I'm a fi- I fight with my friends. Yep. Hey, hey. Maybe they're not really your friend if you ain't ever fight. Mm. <laughs> you said something earlier today. You said, be careful of the friends who want to be you. Man. Mm -hmm. Homie. You said that, and I was like, wow. That is a terrifying idea. Yeah. Because you got some people in your life that are your friend with an agenda. Mm -hmm. Yep. So they're not your friend. They're using, they want to be like you. Be careful Mm -hmm. of who calls you friend. Mm Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be too crazy and extreme. I'm just saying like some people want to be a friend because they want to be where you are and have what you have yeah. and do what you do. Mm-hmm. And you're an inspiration to them. Are you a friend, friend? Yeah. If, if if you can't argue together. Yeah. My friends, I fight with. Just like I do with my wife. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. like I do with my brothers. T- yeah. My brothers. I fight with them. So it's a, it's a, it's a, t- it's a test. How do we forgive each other? How do we move forward? How do we how do we continue to build life together? So um, choose your friends. This is a big one. Yeah. This is a big one. This is the biggest challenge. I told you I came in this year with three words. Stewardship. Leadership. Relationship. And the third one is the hardest one. Mm. Stewardship. Come on. That's just being a great leader. Leadership. Oh, I get up. I think about leadership. <laughs> Relationship? Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> no. Relationship? Oh, gosh. Yep. Because you hurt me and I hurt you and we said that and you said that and none of none. Ah, it's messy. Mm-hmm. Leadership ain't that messy. Go to the org chart. We can make anything work. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. 30, 60, 90 days. Come on, look at the calendar. Yep. Come on, we're going to do this event. We're going to do this conference. We're going to write this book. Record the podcast. This leadership. Yep. Stewardship? How many dollars do we got come in? Put away 10%, tie 10%, operate. This is our venue line. This is our compensation line. This is our operation line. I can run a budget. Mm. Mm. A P&L? I can read a P&L. <laughs> Relationship? Well, that'll make you think. Mm. That'll make you go, I don't know. Are we still in relationship? Am I still committed? Do I still love them? Nothing will tell on your leadership more than your relationship. Hello. It is the number one thing people are watching. Yep. So, let's be leaders that have great friendships. We love you. We'll see you soon. <laughs>